everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UAPRINCE uh, in this video we're going to discuss about uh, the dependent promise in JavaScript so what exactly the dependent promise is uh, you will be having a multiple promises like uh, you're going to fetch uh, data from a server and you're going to push it to some other server and from there you're going to process some other results so one promise is dependent on another promise so this result is dependent on a previous processing result okay so in this case so how to call a dependent promise uh, uh, so in javascript okay so let's start the dependent process uh, dependent promises concept in javascript in this video so here uh, i have a plan of dependent promises uh, to understand more clearly on dependent promise let's take like this so as a student if you want to apply for a job so what is your first goal uh, first you have to do any project on UI development okay if you do a project on UI development then you will be eligible for attending a technical round and in technical round you have two things uh, you may clear you may not clear correct uh, if you clear the technical round then only you can carry forward for the manager round and there are also two choices you may clear may not clear if you clear the manager round then you can go for the HR round so HR round can be clear, cannot be clear. If you clear, you will get a job. Okay, so it starts from first promise that's called to project. If you, it's possible, right? So you, you may do the projects, you may not do the projects. If you do, then only go for technical round. If you finish, then only go for manager round. If you finish, then only go for the job. So let's make a four different promises. Okay, the very first one is do or let's take a build projects you have to build a project by yourself and then if that is done you can attend a technical round if that is finished then make you can go for attend manager round next if that is done you can attend attend a HR round Okay, so these are dependent promises. Let's see how to call and how to create first. Uh, so here, dependent dependent promises in JS. Okay, uh, see here. Let's build a project. Uh, is equal to new promise here I have one callback uh, so this will take resolve and reset so assume this you are building a project so let's is done is equal to true if it is done then uh, let's make a, a resolve uh, stating that uh, project is finished else let's say reject stating that project is not finished this is a build project promise so let's make another promise copy that paste it um, attend the technical round okay and uh, so technical round is finished and technical round is not finished so let's make another one uh, attend a manager round so manager round is finished and uh, manager round is not finished next another one last one copy paste uh, attend the HR round so HR round is finished and uh, got job okay so let's say HR round is not finished okay so you have uh, four promises let's see how to call them uh, how to call is first uh, build project okay dot then dot catch uh, here you have an 
function and here also you have a function so build project then if the build project is successful then you can go for technical round so i just say attend the technical round dot then again dot catch so here we have one callback that is resolve and here also one callback that is reject okay if technical round is successfully finished then uh, then you have to go for attend manager round dot then dot catch like this and here also manager round so once manager round is successful then you can go for a hr round so let's say attend the hr round dot then dot catch so here you will be having a callback here also one callback okay uh, fine now here every function is taking a message right so this one to take that so let's take message uh, i just take let result is equal to i'm going to catch that message so i just use the message and one arrow like this and here also you get the message let's catch up all the results results plus is equal to i'm going to use the message and arrow okay and let's make the same you get the message here take it and you get the message here and take it and finally do print it okay so what i'm doing is i'm just catching all these messages and append it to the results and printing that to the console so let's check here if i make a refresh see project is finished technical round is finished manager round is finished and hr round also finished and got job after got job this is not required okay so this is finished this is finished this is finished and finally got job this is all dependent promises uh, now let's make a catch if something went wrong then what happens is let's take the catch i get the error let's simply do a Uh, console dot error of error so here also and here also okay you just catch all the errors so now um, how to get the errors is let's do one thing uh, build project assume you have not done the project so what happens so build uh, product itself is failed it will not carry forward to the next level okay so you get project is not finished okay so let's make that is true and uh, let's fail in the technical round so what happens failed in the technical round now let's pass that and failed in manager round so what happens manager round is failed next let's pass that and failed in hr round so what happens finally hr round is failed so even if that is also true then everything success you get the message okay uh, but all these things are executed in a same time but we want to give some uh, same delay uh, you can do like this you can take it as a set time out uh one arrow function and let's take it as for for 1000 milliseconds and let's take this one set time out here you have for 2000 milliseconds and let me cut this set time out so this is for a uh, 3000 milliseconds and the last one 
set timeout four thousand milliseconds. So each is having its own time delay, and so one after the other it executes. So let's check a refresh. Um, something went wrong, which see here, all execute same time. Huh? Um, actually, yeah, actually you have printed the console dot log in the last. Okay. Um, do one thing. You can just read the console dot log. You can just comment it. Uh, so what I do for every step, I'll make a console log. That's better. So you can see the every step, uh, the message from the results. Okay. So here also console log, here also console log of message. So if you make in every step, so once it is done, it immediately prints the output, which no need to wait for the last one. So let's see. Project finish, technical round, manager round, HR round is finished, got job. Okay. So all these statements has executed one after the other. Okay. So this looks something difficult to call uh, one after the other, but uh, but if you really understand this, it's quite simple. This was one promises depend on other. Okay, so that's it. That is about uh, the dependent promise concept in JavaScript. And the next video we'll see the real example of where we can see the real time example of promise. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet the next video. Thank you.